In order for fruit to form on most fruit trees, pollen from one flower needs to be taken to another flower, which it will fertilize. The transfer of pollen grains from the anther of a flower to the stigma of another flower is critical. After reaching the stigma, the pollen grain will grow down the style into the embryo sac, where fertilization takes place. Let's have a look at how the farmer oversees the process of pollination. All deciduous fruit varieties need to be pollinated, although some are self-fertile. Peaches and apricots, for instance, are self-fertile. Pollen from a peach or apricot blossom will be released and will fall onto a blossom on the same tree and begin to grow to form a fruit. Virtually all apples and pears are not self-fertile, so they need the pollen of a different variety to pollinate them. This is referred to as cross-pollination. The farmer must be sure that the pollen will be distributed as efficiently as possible. And so, bees are brought into the orchard at flowering time. The bees collect nectar and pollen from flowers. As it moves over the flower collecting nectar, grains of pollen stick to the bee's body. It moves from flower to flower and as it passes, pollen grains will fall onto other flowers. Cross-pollinator varieties of trees are planted in the orchard. If you are planting a golden delicious orchard, every third tree in every third row should be a Granny Smith or another compatible variety. Many farmers plant two rows of one variety and then two rows of another variety to be sure that cross-pollination will occur efficiently. In order to measure the quality of a hive, count the number of bees that leave the hive every minute. You want at least 20 bees leaving the hive each minute to go out foraging looking for pollen. Most apples use three hives per hectare. Most pears use six hives per hectare and many of the plums use up to eight hives per hectare because some varieties are difficult to pollinate. Hives should be placed off the ground. If they are placed on the ground, the cold, wet ground will make the hives cold and all the bees will stay in the hive, flapping their wings to keep the hive warm. They won't leave while the hive is cold. A very common practice is to put the hives onto old car tires to lift them off the ground to keep the hive warm. They should not be placed in the shade and should look east to get the morning sun. The bees should get working as soon as possible. Certain weeds produce a lot of nectar and are very attractive to bees. Black wattle and hosblom blossom at the same time and the bees will go straight for the alien vegetation and weed blossom and start working there. Bringing beehives into the orchard costs a minimum of 1,200 rand per hectare. So it's not cheap, but it is a critical aspect of production and must be given the proper attention. Bees are the farmer's insurance policy of setting a good crop.